Hi guys, Mark Jensen here. Today we're gonna tie another bucktail jig. This one is a baitfish colored jig with a slim profile in the water. For this one I let this jig head decide the colors. It's, a, it's white on the bottom, it's olive on the side and it's blue on the top. So that decided the colors of the bucktails. I think it's a great all-round baitfish color for imitating smelt, herring and a lot of other baitfish. Let's get on with tying. Yep, first I attach the tying thread. Then I choose some hair from a white bucktail. I want the longest hair I can get on this one. What I'm going for on this jig is this long, slim profile of a baitfish. I cut off the butt ends of the hair. Okay, after distributing the first bunch of white hair evenly around the hook shank, I tie in a bunch more on the underside. This is to build the white belly of the bait fish. Then I take an olive bucktail. Prepare in the same way as usual. These are tied in on the top of the dick. I just secure this bunch before tying in the blue buck tail. The blue hair goes in on the top, again, securing those ends, make for a more durable gig.
And I want a small bunch of pearl crystal flash, a sideline on the bait fish. And for the other side as well. Then I build up the head and the dick or the collar to make a smooth transition between head and body using the red thread for this uh, gives a gill effect on the jig especially when uh, when I put the UV glue on this on the winding it really makes it glow Hit it with a lamp. You can really see the the color change in the head here. White on the bottom, olive on the side, and blue on the top. That's it. We're ready to take this. Geek underwater. Thanks for watching.